Hi guys, um, you know, I just wanted to start out with knowing how many students are in the audience, so can you raise your hands if you're a student? Okay, and how many of you are in a technology field? Raise your hand. Ooh, no girls? No girls? Yes, girls, yes, three of them. Wonderful. <laughs> so this is what I want to talk about. You know, um, I grew up in a small town in India. I moved here seven years ago, and you know, just like the opportunities that are in the United States might not be the same that are in India. Um, when I grew up, I didn't have any girlfriends. Like, I had zero girlfriends. I used to think braiding hair was boring. I still do. Uh, you know, I used to play cricket. I used to play, uh, you know, Mario Bros with my, fr my friends. But you know, what really interested me was computers. Um, we actually had two houses in India, and one of them we would rent them out. And uh, these were two computer science students, and I saw the computer for the first time. Since I lived in a small town, technology might not have been like the biggest thing, you know? So when I saw the computer, I was like, ooh, what is this? And, you know, I used to play Minesweeper. How many of you have played Minesweeper in your lives? Have you, do you know there's like an algorithm behind it to win it? How many of you have actually won it? Yeah, so obviously I was eight years old, and what is an algorithm? I don't know. I don't even know how to spell it at that point. So what uh, really interested me in computers is like, ooh, what if, like, I knew how to break this, you know? Like, I'm sitting here and I'm like struggling for like weeks now and I don't understand what's going on. And you know, I'm like, what is going on? So then my parents and everybody around me, in a typical Indian culture, you're supposed to be that girl who like, you know, stays home, learns things from her mom or, you know, like her siblings or, you know, just learns things from her friends. But I used to have boyfriends, you know, like I never had any girlfriends ever. So they, my mom used to always say that, are you sure you're a boy? <laughs> like I have to check four times because like I was just not the typical girl that you would find. Um, then my mom bought me a computer, and this was exactly me when it was coming out. There were like four guys who came in, and they're like, what is with this child? Like, what is she doing? Like, I was so, I was uh, so excited. Like, I went around the whole town yelling, like, I got a computer, oh my god. And this was me on the computer, you know, like, I was like an instant, you know, like, I loved it. There was like nothing that could, you know, like, take me away from it. I would sit on like, till 2 a.m., even though I had school at 6, and my mom was just like, what is going on? What is she doing? This was her. She would yell at me, like, the kitchen was, like, right next to where my computer was, because I used to call it the computer room, and she would be like, what are you doing? Don't you have homework? Don't you have to go to school? Don't you have this? But, like, I didn't care. I just wanted to be on that computer. You know, like, computers are one thing in the world that you can just sit at, and you can learn it, you know? You don't need a manual. If you just sit on it, and you just start clicking random things, Granted, sometimes you get viruses, but, you know, if you click on things, you know, it will lead somewhere. You know, if you go on Internet Explorer and you click on Yahoo and then you click on horoscopes, it will take you somewhere. So, you know, Internet, uh, internet and computers are one thing that c you could learn, like, by yourself. And I am, I love, like, learning by myself, so that was, like, really attractive to me because I have never been good at school. Like, when I was uh, young, my mom used to, like, literally have to go and like look at like the marks to see if it was like a fail or a pass. Like I was never a good student, but like I was always a good like self learner. And computers was something that I apparently just you know got into. Um, everyone was like, "Where is my Where is my friend?" You know, my teachers were like, "Why are you failing?" But literally, I really didn't care. I just you know like what you when you find your passion, you're like you just want to be in that stage of your life. Um, reaction of professors. So I'm actually a transfer student. I went to community school before this and. I was a computer science major there, and I went up to my professor, like, you know, I just, I like going up to my professors, and I told them, you know, is there something I can learn more? Because it was a Java introductory course, and I've taken Java in high school for two years. So I go up to him, and I'm like, professor, um, is there something else that I could do on top of, like, schoolwork? Maybe you could teach me something like web services in Java, because I would never, I didn't know what that was. And his reaction was like, no, go sit down. And he, Throughout the whole course, he thought that I was going to fail because for some reason he thought that I couldn't do it. The funniest thing was I was tutoring all of the guys in my class being the only two girls. <laughs> um, this was my reaction inside. I was like, you know, just throw what you have at me. You know, I'll pass with an A+. Plus. You can think I'm going to fail, but you can't fail me if I'm doing well. Um, boys, uh, when I came here, I got in my Cisco internship, so I remember in one of my courses, I was the only girl, and um, I told one of my friends who sat next to me, I was like, oh, you know, I just got accepted to Cisco, and what was his response? His response was, oh, that's because you're a girl. So apparently now Cisco and all the other companies <laughs> recruit knowing, like, oh, that's a girl, I'm just going to recruit her, forget the, all the boys. I don't even know what that guy was thinking. Um, you know, how many of you have, like, ever been targeted and stereotypes, whether it's CS or just regularly in your life? Like, can you raise your hands? Just 
just stereotypes. Doesn't it feel like, why are people doing this to me? Uh, imposter syndrome is something that a lot of women go through, especially women in higher positions. Uh, imposter syndrome is when you are accomplished, but you refuse to believe that you're accomplished. Like, no matter, there's, there's a lot of physical proof. Like, obviously, there's, like, uh, people talking how great you are, but you just don't believe it. You always continuously feel that you are not able to do something, and you're a failure. And uh, there has been a study. Apparently, most women in executive positions in the tech industry go through this phase. So that's, that's really bad, because that's for me, like for me and the girls in the audience, we're the ones who are supposed to be those leaders for the next generation. Uh, the first programmer was a girl. Uh, computer science was started by Ada Lovelace, who was a girl. And now, if we see the numbers, they have been increasing, like they've been just declining from where, what it was. Um, I think in 1900s, we at least had 37% of women going as computer science degrees, and now we only, we're up to 17% in the whole United States. So, you know, that's not a good thing. And these are some of the quick facts. Um, people who have higher executives and higher, like, higher positions for women are, uh, get more return investment. Uh, like I said, women in CS, there's only 16.8, which is really, really bad. Um, and the other ones, you know, it's just, like, you look at the facts. For personally, for me, look around. You guys are going to have kids. Some of you are going to graduate. What, like, the next transformation for me would be if we all invested our time into just thinking of what we could do. Because uh, technology is something, you know, a man can come up with something, but a woman, we all have different perspectives, and we're missing that half mind from the world, like we're missing that half aspect of the world that we need in technology. And that is really important to me because, you know, we, we grow as a generation and our generation needs to like understand that it is okay. But we've, for years now, you know, we've taught that, we're taught biology, we're taught history, we're taught geography, math. We all know what that is. But does anybody really know what computer science is unless you look it up or you go to college for it? I know a lot of schools that presently teach computer science as Microsoft Office, which is not really computer science. So students really don't know what computer science is. So what we could do is obviously, you know, raise more awareness for K-12 education because it is really important for, you know, when you're a young age to know what technology does. And many of this, I was actually in a study where people were asked, like girls were, at, like, w girls were asked if, like, if their parents were going through difficulties with tech com computers or any technology products, would they come up to you or your brother first? And mostly all of them answered that all the parents were, would go to the, their son to ask them, you know, like whether, like, can you fix this for me? Unless, like, not, not a woman, which I didn't understand. You know, all of these things that frustrate me, I don't know if it frustrates you, and like for me, the next transformation is to, you know, have more K-12 education. So for educators here are just like raising awareness, and you know, you can always go online on code.org. It doesn't matter what major you are, because computer science is very diverse. Um, you can apply to medical medical fields, engineering, history, or whatever you want, you know? So the next big thing is, you know, women in computer science. Thank you. <laughs>